The crash, I swear, on everything. He just keeps going up. Doesn't even know where the f he's at. Can't even see him. Dangerous. Oh, there he is. Oh! 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 There he is! Woo! He's crashing. He's going down. He's going down. He is in trouble. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike here. Welcome to Mojo Group. So today we're going to discuss IFR. If you see the short clip I played for you in the beginning, that video is just so that you get an idea of some of the points that I'm going to share with you in this entire video. Okay, recently a viewer simply asked, what's IFR? The abbreviation IFR stands for Instrument Flight Rules. Simple as that. You have to look at the instrument in order to fly the airplane. Now, during the process of becoming a pilot, generally your instructor would train you on some IFR. And the reason why this is done is because even as a VFR pilot, you can find yourself in IMC conditions meaning in conditions where you have to use your instruments to fly the airplane. And if you're not experienced or you have no clue what to do, that can end in total disaster. This is why the FAA requires a limited amount of training for IFR, even as a VFR pilot. If you're just a VFR pilot or inexperienced IFR pilot, flying into questionable conditions is a no-no. Just don't do it, okay? But if you are IFR rated pilot, you have the training and possibly also the experience to be able to navigate yourself in those type of conditions. Take the commercial airlines for example. These guys fly in IFR a lot of the time. That's because they have to fly whether the weather is good or bad. Now, I do want this video to focus on VFR pilots who find themselves in IFR situations, okay? If we look back on that video, all right, now you can come to your own conclusion, but when I look at that video, what you can see happening is possibly a VFR pilot ending up in really, really bad weather condition where they're not able to see outside. And in that situation, again, you have to depend solely on your instruments for you to navigate that airplane. And as you can see, in that video, the airplane was going up, going down. It looks like somebody was simply disoriented. They had no clue where they are in respect to the space that they're flying in. And this is one of the primary symptoms uh, of pilots whenever they find themselves flying in IMC or IFR conditions. Now, I have two major rules to follow in this type of situation. So assuming you're a VFR pilot, you're flying along and God forbid, you find yourself in a situation where your visual reference outside is completely gone. The first thing you need to understand is to trust your instruments, okay? This sounds very simple, right? But really, I'm asking you to do something a little complex. And this is the reason why. See, when you're, tr when you're trained as a VFR pilot, a lot of your flights are going to be conducted on good days, good weather days where you're referencing outside to see what's there in order to fly the airplane, just like you would in a, when you're driving a car. When you're driving a car, you're looking outside to navigate that car. The same thing goes for a VFR pilot. But more importantly, your brain and your body is already accustomed to a certain way of flying. I mean, your brain and your body is accustomed to the emotions, the feeling of the airplane, uh, and the movement of your body whenever you're navigating that airplane. So your brain is already accustomed to that. Now, if you were to fly in, say, cloudy weather, or say IMC conditions, where you have no visual reference, guess what? Your brain and your body is going to react opposite to what you're used to. And this is what is called spatial disorientation. What it means is that your brain and your body are miscommunicating, okay? Your brain is telling your body that, hey, look at your instruments. And even though your instrument can say that you're straight and level, 
because again you can't see outside so your instrument is the only thing that can really give you factual information as to the position of the airplane so even though your brain is saying look at the look at your instrument and your instrument is telling you you're straight and level because your body is already used to a certain type of feeling when you're flying visually your body can say well I don't feel like I'm straight and level I feel like I'm tilted this way so guess what because your body is telling you that you're in a different position you might want to say okay let me tilt myself this way even though your plane is already level alright so that's one of the issues that you may encounter if you suddenly find yourself trying to use your instruments to fly and as you can see in the clip that I showed you earlier we can guess that the pilot is probably disoriented where they're trying to find their position in the space that they're flying in and again that's one of the primary symptoms so the best way to counter for that is trust your instruments it's gonna save your life alright now that said rule number two avoid rule number one by all means necessary if you're a VFR pilot or an inexperienced IFR pilot the best thing you can do is to avoid getting yourself in a situation where you have to depend on your instruments in the first place okay and by that I'm simply telling you that you should prepare for your flight do a proper flight plan most importantly respect mother nature all right get a weather briefing get a forecast know what the weather was doing a few hours ago know what the weather is doing right now and know what the weather is going to do during your flight that way you're sort of ahead of things and you don't run into anything sudden uh, during your flight now I say all of that to say this if you're a VFR pilot currently or you're a pilot in training one safety tip that you can get is get an IFR rating it's gonna cost you a little bit more but if you're going to be flying a lot it's probably best to get an IFR rating that way you're most prepared for questionable weather whenever it happens right and also IFR is actually much more safer than VFR flying that's what the number shows and there are several reasons for this okay you can think of IFR IFR is always more controlled okay the airways for IFR is more controlled it's more formal and I mentioned commercial airlines earlier these guys use IFR all the time and that's why they have a much higher safety record than general aviation in total one downside I can think of when it comes to IFR is once you get the rating you have to remain current okay if you're paying for the rating and you don't use it then it's like a waste of money okay so those are my safety tips for today I hope it makes sense to you guys and I hope you learned something if you did please give a thumbs up and if you're a pilot please share your experience in the comments below I like to know and for all of us so we can learn I like to know if say you're a VFR pilot and you've experienced getting into say uh, situations where you have to use your instruments to fly please share the experience below okay thank you guys so much for watching again my name is Mike and I am on patreon my patreon link is below consider supporting the channel I greatly appreciate it okay and hit that subscribe button for me if this is your first time and I will catch you guys on the next video peace